Alexander Po, Chief Designer Sky MCC, hello. Hello, good afternoon. Can you tell us please about new releases for uh, those brands in 2014? So yes, I'm glad to speak about the model that is released at the same time like Saint-Hilaire. We just finalized the certification of the Kea and the Kea is a um, it's an intermediate glider in the B category for people um, making mountain flights. It's, it's a fairly light glider from 3.2 to 3.6 kilos. Yes. And uh, we chose to work on a pretty simple uh, E and B concept with lower spec ratio because uh, when we work with lower spec ratio at the same time the lines are shorter and this is one of the important things when you want to take off on smaller takeoff places in, in the wild basically. Uh, is there any more releases or that's the care? That's what is ready now. There is some other projects on the run. Uh, we, we are basically starting to work now on the RS3 but this is a project that will become, will, will become a, a realty uh, in uh, probably five to six months at earliest. It could be one year as well. It's a D glider with uh, C behavior in the certification. Okay. Uh, so why does the Atis 4 having four liners, it's a four liner, and doesn't have any single unsheeted line, even on top? Um, yes, because, because first it is a big glider and we try as much as possible to keep it simple for pilots for the two first categories A and B. And whatever we can say, uh, as soon as we are in difficult takeoff conditions with some stones on the ground or bushes, uh, it becomes quite difficult with the uh, unsheeted, line. unsheeted lines, with the competition lines. So we feel that uh, it's much preferable to have the coated lines everywhere. They, they are easier to see on the ground. We can easier see that one line is going around the bush. And this is a part of the safety, not to have one line entangled in the bush when you try to make a difficult takeoff. You could easily make a three-liner, but why did you uh, uh, level liner A, B, C, D? Yeah, well, it's a technical choice from the beginning to try to start from a concept which is not extreme, because as soon as the concept is reasonable, you can basically let it fly. And it's much better to have a reasonable complex uh, glider that you let fly rather than extreme concept that you have to trim back to go through certification. This is this is the first point. And then I would say there is another philosophy. We don't go in the fashion of the ideas. The fashion of the ideas at the moment is, for instance, that the line is a drag. And this is a bit simplified. Basically, the line is not first a drag. It's it's. Um, a point to set up the canopy, to trim the canopy and if you simplify the glider you have more movements in the canopy and as soon as it's a little bit turbulent air you will lose the performance. So you prefer to have more lines and more points where we can make uh, the nice trimming, the nice movement for the speeding of the glider than uh, trying to make a record on the least lines on the glider and, and bring some more difficult glider. This is, this is the basic idea. And you mentioned also that more lines means thinner profiles. Thinner profiles fly better than thicker profiles. Yes, this is, this is basically uh, when you want to show the performance, you always show one side of the medal, we say. And, and every medal has two sides. So, of course, if you put less lines, you should go with thicker diameters of the lines, so you lose already a little bit. There are some big lies that are told about the lines, like we have three liners, so it's 25% less line than a four liner, which looks so logical that any customer will believe it. But basically, on a standard glider with four lines, you have brakes. And the brakes and stabilizers are as much lines as A, B, or C lines. So you don't have 25% less, but 20%. The second fact is that the D row is never a complete row. It's two-thirds of a row, so it's another difference. And the next difference is, is that you usually use thicker lines. So little by little, you lose the advantage that you are promoting in advertising. Uh, next fact is that if you go for a glider with three lines, in order to distribute the load uh, from the hanging point to the top surface, uh, 
uh, you have to distribute it wider because you have less lines. It means you have to make a thicker profile to distribute it with the same angle. So once you see all what you lose through the fact that the glider is less stable, by the fact that the line should be thicker, by the fact that the canopy should be thicker, at the end you lost all the performance that you gain with the concept and you probably line. lost a bit of the safety as well. So we take it opposite and it seems it's worked. We finally come to very similar performance like the other gliders with what we feel is a nicer to fly and more safe glider. Thank you. When you will have the Antea 2 replacement and uh, will it be a high-end C? Can you elaborate on that? So basically we, we are just collecting now the information we get back from the existing Antea 2 because this is how we work. We, we try to hear what the pilots say about the glider, what they complain about, and then we move on the new projects. Uh, if we want to make something really new, we need time. We need time to test, we need time to design, we need time to think about it. And this is one of the big trouble at the moment, that people, is it on the smartphone market, on the paragliding market, they wish to have something new every year and this is not possible. So what is possible is to tell you it's new by putting Antea 3 on the glider and changing the color. This we can do in one year, it's no problem. If you want something really new, then it needs a study, it needs a lot of flights, it needs more experience that we can pile up by making some other gliders, the intermediate gliders, um, gliders with more performance. And then after two to three years we might bring the glider that is at the same time performing a little bit better, bringing a little bit more safety, being a little bit more uh, nicer to fly. So that's how we can work. But we cannot just, we are not magicians, we cannot just take the hat and, and, and take the rabbit out of the hat. We need to work hard to bring something new. Working hard means working long. Now the glider is about two years, it's the time when we really start to think about it and design it, but before 12 to 15 months we will not be able to bring something really new. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you.